The Lord be with you. And, and also with, with you. you. Let us pray. Lord, be merciful to your people. Fill us with your gifts and make us always eager to serve you in faith, hope, and love. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our reading this noon comes from the Gospel according to St. Matt, um, St. Mark, excuse me on that, uh, first chapter, uh, verses 14 through 20. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Passing alongside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were in their boat, mending the nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants and followed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank you, God. God. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our reading today, and I do not believe I'm going to get this pronunciation correct, is from Pavo, um, P-A-A-V-O, Rutsalanian, um, and I believe he is Scandinavian because uh, this excerpt comes from Four Northern Lights, Men Who Shaped the Scandinavian Churches. Uh, and he lived 1777 to 1852. And he writes as follows. Pay close attention to God's divine call. Begin where you are under the conditions of your daily life to heed it, waiting patiently upon the Lord and praying, Lord, lead thou me to a true repentance and forgive my sins. And you must persevere in this dialogue with God in confidence and hope, trusting God's gracious promises but without attempting to determine for the Lord either his time or means, but looking only to him until the dawn appears and the morning star arises in your soul and you are at last given the positive assurance that your sins are truly forgiven and that you are indeed a partaker in the grace and merits of Christ. Let trouble and sorrow drive you to see the revealed and despised Savior in his word. No matter how cold and unresponsive you may feel yourself to be, diligently hear and use the word whence comes the hidden light for those who yearn for light. The word awakens in the heart a desire for Christ, and this desire moves the heart to pray, and before you are conscious of it, Christ's life has been born within you. Here ends this reading, and amen, amen. Uh, just as 
uh, James and John uh, were called by Christ in the midst of their daily activities. God calls on us wherever we are, whether we are driving a child somewhere, uh, whether we are in our cubicle, uh, whether we are at church getting ready to serve, whether we are at home getting ready to check on a neighbor, um, whether we think we are uh, just taking a breather, uh, God may call upon us at any time and we have a sense of his gracious presence, uh, but also of his leading, or we may be moved to gratitude for how he has shaped our lives in ways that we could not even have expected. And uh, just a quick anecdote from my now my second week where everything is not as it seems it's going to be. Um, uh, one of the hurried rescheduled appointments uh, for my son, uh, he couldn't see his regular doctor for the physical, but God bless physicians assistants or the nurses or these other people in practices. I love mine at my practice. And we met the most amazing woman um, who uh, was working with Sam and an assistant who was learning. Uh, just quickly, uh, her son, uh, like Sam, but in different ways, uh, was, is also on the autism spectrum. Her son's about the same age as my son. And just talking about different ways that we've adjusted our lives. Um, and then it turned out that um, the nursing assistant uh, he was getting ready. He was doing two years local. Now he's getting ready to go out to Pittsburgh. Um, but he's like, yeah, my brother, he's looking to get into graphic arts. And I said, oh, I said, well, it seems at Votech for graphic arts out in Pittsburgh, but we're also looking at the PA College of Art and Design in Lancaster. And by the way, Sam, pull up your Instagram, show him what kind of stuff you do. And he's like, oh, yeah, I understand it. my brother. And he's like, I'm going to have to tell him about that school. I mean, this was totally, it wasn't his doctor. It was this last minute thing. But it, we were just so touched and blessed by the spirit in this doctor's office. Um, and, you know, Christ was just really present and, and just giving thanks to God after I'd been grumbling and upset about why I had to make a last minute appointment. And I'm like, now I see why this is amazing. And so giving thanks and especially giving thanks for those times when we have felt really burdened by our sins against God and neighbor. And we believe that we are forgiven when we hear it, as we will later in the service. Uh, Doug is going to be singing about grace. We experience it at the table of Holy Communion. But there can be moments where we simply sense that that burden is lifted. And that can happen at any time during the day as well giving thanks for our Lord's presence here in a worship space and with us wherever we are. And may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amazing grace shall always be my song of praise. For it was grace that bought my liberty. I do not know just how he came to love me so. He looked beyond my faults and saw my need. And I shall forever lift mine eyes to Calvary, to view the cross where Jesus died for me. How more the loss, the grace that caught my fallen soul. Oh yes, he looked beyond my faults and saw my need. 
If not for grace, my soul would be a drifting ship. With no safe harbor from the angry waves. But Calvary's cross shines brightly through the darkest storm. Unjust in time, his mercy rescues me. And I shall forever lift mine eyes to Calvary, to view the cross where Jesus died for me. How far the loss of grace that caught my fallen soul. Oh yes, he looked beyond my faults and saw my need. Oh, yes, he looked beyond my faults and saw.